You see, that should be an R, not a B. You've printed Bic Spleen. It's Rick. My name is Rick. That's strange. No, it's not strange. It's wrong. They're all wrong. 79 quid's worth. It's totally useless. Hey, that's your order. You put B, see? Bic. No, it's an R. That's a B. Oh, it's clearly an R. Why would I misspell my own name? Anyway, who ever heard of anyone called Bic? Yeah, well, I've never heard of anyone called Spleen, you know, so... Uh... <laughs> it's a stage name. Doesn't Rick Spleen ring any bells? No, well, probably if you were a bit younger than you would... Nathan, you ever heard of anyone called Rick Spleen? A Rick Spleen? Nah. Sorry, mate, it's not our fault. Yes, it is. Oh, I can't refund you. Oh, that's ridiculous. There's a Bic Spleen. we just done some letterheads for him. I mind, but I just didn't expect all this furniture and computers. All working. And telephone. Brilliant, thanks. Yeah, me and Marty just get on with it. And the wireless connection's up and running. Well, that was quick. Oh, that'll be the bike for the Grandson contract. Izzy, this can go with it. Oh, sure. Do you want me to do a sign and return on this? Yeah, good idea. So I still don't see why you couldn't have had the kitchen. Me and Marty could have stayed here. I mean, we were here first. Don't be silly. We agreed. You know, Izzy and I can't work in the kitchen. So how come Marty and I can? It's only for a couple of weeks. Here, let me connect that with you. Oh, no, it's fine. I can do it. No, I don't mind. I'll do it for you. No, please don't. OK. If you really want to help, there's loads of boxes in Izzy's car. No, no, it's all right. I've got plenty to be getting on with. <laughs> Mary Davis Associates. She's really busy myself at the moment. Yeah, speaking. Set put the door. Right. Yeah, ready. Yeah, no, the moon's been great. I know what Izzy's like. How many of those do you have to do? 2,000. You don't fancy? No, I don't. Oh, no, I've got you. Thanks, but no. That's actually quite therapeutic. OK, what are we supposed to be doing? You don't have a gig coming up, we have nothing to write. Exactly, so let's use this time productively. This is our chance to develop some ideas. For TV shows? Yes, that I can host. We should be able to come up with a whole list. Got enough paper. OK, so what? Uh... Quiz show, game show, stand-up. Anything, so long as it's the right vehicle for me. How about a hearse? <laughs> sorry, made me laugh. I shouldn't have been sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's all right. I apologize. So you must be Izzy. And you must be Marty. Hi. Hi. So what are you after? Tea, coffee, Tipex? <laughs> we have got some chamomile. I think it's definitely caffeine that's called for. I'll just... So you're moving in next door? Yeah, there goes the name. So how long are you guys going to be here for? What's it matter? I'm curious. <sighs> I don't know. 34. No way. She's younger than that. 32, tops. All right, 32. If you're so certain, why ask me? Now, can we get on with this, please? Sure. Good. So... Let me get that. No, leave it. They can get it. It'll be another courier. OK, how about... A stand-up show, but with an interactive element. You mean like heckling? No, just a kind of sort of online internet thing. Brilliant. Why didn't I think of that? How does that work exactly? Well, I do a stand-up show live, and then everyone around the country can watch it at home. Isn't that called television? No, this would be different. How? Well, because... Actually, i better go and get that, because... It's excellent after that. Yeah, well... Leave it with me, and I'll come up with some names. Twelve. Now? Oh, yeah. No, I know. So it sounds very exciting. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll get it over to you or at least try and make some sort of meeting as well as it's Oh, by the end of right. play today? <laughs> I don't know. That's, that's no, fantastic. Millen Davis Associates. Thanks. Sorry, is that an on? Yes. Looks like a beat. And how would they do that? I don't know. Some sort of webcam. And that comes up where? On a screen or in a studio or something. I don't, that's a producer's decision. God, why do you have to be so negative? Hello. Magda, hey! Oh, Magda, you're back. Yes. Mm -hmm. Missed you. Yes. So, how was it back home? Rain is leaking into a house. Mother's knee has got worse. Oh, dear. But there's McDonald's now. Huh? Always the silver lining. <laughs> Magda, I thought I heard you. How are you? Fine. And you? You're working here now. 
Uh, no, only for a couple of weeks. Our offices are being decorated. How's your sister? Oh, Agatha's much better, thank you. She does not want to marry this man anymore. It's probably for the best. Since he's already got a wife. And now Agatha has come with me to England for holiday. Oh, that's nice. She's not here, is she? No, she's sleeping now. No. For you? Oh, thank you. <laughs> and you? Oh, Magda, thank you. <laughs> and for you, Marty? Hope you like. Magda! I love it. You don't have to play? No, no, but I'll soon pick it up. Which end do you blow into? This one? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mel, it's HDR on the phone about the new courses. Oh, oh, um, Izzy, do you, have you met Magda? Oh, hi, I've heard so much about you. Did you have a good trip? Yes. Magda, do you mind? We're trying to work. Oh. Good. Now we should concentrate. Okay. Ideas. Yeah, Magda. You don't have to tiptoe around, that's actually more distracting. Hi, Dad. All right. Oh, Magda, hiya. Hey, Magda, how's it going? It's good. Now, I buy gifts. I hope you like. Oh, Magda, that's wicked. And for Ben? <laughs> Thanks. I've never had a wallet before. Do you mind if we do some stuff in the kitchen? Uh, Sam, what is going on? What's in all these boxes? Uh, yeah, well, you know the money that you gave me yesterday? Lent you? You said that was for course books. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is, uh, sort of. Well, so what we were going to do was uh, maybe make some samosas and then try and sell them at the free festival thing. Mm -hmm. And then with the money that we make from that, then well, we could buy some course books and uh, have some money left over. To pay me back? Yeah, why not? Uh, so, Moto, can we make samosas here? Yes, yeah, you need me to help you? Yeah, please, yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you got one of those, uh, you know, food mixing? Yeah. 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 So you've been kicked out of the house, have you? Uh, not really, no. It's just impossible to work with Mel in the way, you know. Yeah, she was telling me. Expanding the office, eh? Her career's gone from strength to strength. Yep, hasn't it? How does it feel to be a kept man? Oh, uh, well, I'm hardly... Uh... We should be so lucky, eh, Marty? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I really need to... Oh, okay. sorry, yes, I'll, I'll let you get on. So, Marty, notice anything different? Uh... Not the cafe. Me. Is that a new shirt? New shirt. New attitude? New Michael. Well, thanks to Bryony, really. An analyst who gives fashion advice. Yes, yes, it's all about self-esteem. Just giving yourself permission to feel yeah, valued. Michael, sorry, did, can I just... <coughs> oh, sorry. sorry. Oh, thanks. <laughs> so what is it you're up to? Well, I'm just working on some ideas for TV shows. Oh, exciting. It would be if I could finish it. Just think, the next big hit show could be created right here. Let's have a look. Uh, well, it's not really... Stand-up comedy with an online interactive element. That's just one of them. There's a whole list of them. Hey, how does that work? You'll have to ask Rick. Stand-up with people joining in on the internet? Not really, no. It's a bit complicated to explain it. So you go on stage at the King's Head and someone boos you off in South Africa? <laughs> yeah? No, nothing like that. No, that's a funny line. I bet that's one of yours. <laughs> huh? I bet it is. Yeah. I wish you wouldn't encourage him. You didn't like his idea? What, a comedy quiz about modern warfare? No, not very much. What you get that for, anyway? I'm gonna bring something back for Izzy. Oh, did you? Did you like a sandwich, Izzy? Can I hold the door for you, Izzy? I just thought she might be hungry. You didn't get anything from Mel? No. We've got a house full of samosas. Someone is waiting. Someone who understands exactly how you feel. Exactly how you feel. Someone is dreaming. Someone Hoping just that this will be the day That this will be the day That you Take your eyes off the ground Out of the blue And see that someone Is looking right back at you I'm 
just saying it. It's like living in an office. I'm sorry. I know it's not ideal. I had no idea it was going to be like this. Couriers turning up every five minutes. It's not every five minutes. Well, I don't see why I should have to answer the door to them. You don't have to. It's just that every time it happens, me and Marty have to stop work. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm sorry. W what are you doing at the moment? Well, we're coming up with, with some ideas. Right. You know, we're developing a few things. It's... And how's it going? Well, not well because of all this. And on top of everything else, Izzy keeps distracting Marty. <laughs> what? I'd say it was the other way around. He's all over her. Well, maybe she could wear a few more clothes around the place. Huh? That's her style. Oh, you sound like some crusty old judge. Yeah, I just... Look, I'm not renting another office now, so you're just going to have to try and put up with it. I'm not complaining. In fact, you know, if you are going to be here for a while, it might be a good idea to think about getting some stationery. You know, with this address on. I'm just using my office stationery. The post being redirected. Oh, good, good. That's that's sensible. Only it might be a nice touch to. Shall I think? Yeah, I think I've got. Some... I've got some stationery I could let you have for, you know, and you get some little labels printed out with your name on, stick it on top of my name, and uh, I think that'd look really good. <laughs> Hi, Magda. Sorry, I'm late. Must take Agatha to bus station. Oh, yeah. How is she? Enjoying our holiday? Yes, very much. She has a job in bakery. Has she? That's nice. So, woman is coming today? Is he? Hmm. Uh, yeah, she's already here. Why? She's wearing more clothes today, I hope. Well, that's, <laughs> it's just a style, Magda. You sound like some sort she of... She looks like a lap dancer. I think that's a bit harsh. True, she's dressed like a whore. Whore, dressed like a whore. And anyway, she isn't. In my country, women like this are in your country. Oh, I don't know about that, Magda. That's pretty offensive. By the way, do you think Agatha would be interested in earning a bit of extra cash, you know, in the evenings? How do you mean? It's just that I need someone to correct all these for me. Look at that. Oh. Yes, she will do. I know, I got five years and they still don't give me my own key. <laughs> well, it's a good thing I'm here to let you in. Hey, Magda, how are you today? I'm very well. What's the matter with her? Well, it's Izzy. I don't think Magda is her biggest fan. Oh, right. You want coffee? Yeah. Talking of Izzy, I don't know quite how to say this. It's been noticed. What has? You and Izzy. To be honest, it's a bit embarrassing, the way you're hanging around her. So I shouldn't talk to her? Well, not when we're supposed to be working, no. Oh, here we go. No, I'll go, I'll go. In case I see Izzy in the hallway and start making out with her. Well, that's obviously what's on your mind. Yeah, right. Oh, hello, Rick. Sorry to bother you. Have you got a moment? Uh, I'm a bit rushed, to be honest. Well, it is quite important. Right. Well, I'll come straight to the point. I'm a bit concerned that you might be running some sort of a business from here. No. No, I don't think so. I work from here, other than that. No, 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 no. I don't count that. What I'm talking about is uh, motorcycles coming and going at all hours of the day, extra cars parked outside. Look, I'm, uh, I'm not wishing to pry, but uh, what on earth are you up to in there? Nothing. I'm not up to anything. Well, how do you account for all this increase in activity? I don't know. I've been sent a lot of scripts. Recently, it is it some sort of catering business? I mean, my mother's been complaining about strange smells wafting over, like somebody cooking. No, I don't think Is so. it foreign food? I mean, she's 83. Uh, look, I'm sorry, I really don't know what you're talking about. I can assure you, nobody is running a business from this house. Shopping. Is everything okay, Dad? Yeah, fine, fine. Just gonna have a word with Melanie Davis Associates. Sounds like a good opportunity. I think I'm gonna look into it. Maybe you think they're gonna hit 
show on their hands. And she's such a great producer. She does all the best panel shows. And they've commissioned a series straight off. Yeah. I've got a good feeling about this one. Morning, Jess. With you in a sec. No rush. Okay, what is this? This is to keep me away from Izzy. No, that's fine. I'll do what you want with Izzy. I couldn't talk back at the house. Why, what is this? I heard Mel and Izzy discussing a brand new panel show. Mel is putting one of her clients up for it. Team Captain. So what? So what? This is it. This is the big idea we've been looking for. Someone else's idea. Yes, it's perfect. This is the show I should be doing. But you're not. Not yet. But if I can find out enough about it, I can get in there, put myself up for it. I already know who the producer is. Who is it? Well, I don't know her name as such, but I found out she's a woman. Well, that narrows it down. Yeah, we just need to find out a few more details, and then... We, I don't like the sound of this already. All you have to do is take his ear. Oh, that's why you changed your tune. Go for a few drinks, get her in the right mood. And then start up a conversation about panel shows? I don't think so. Oh, I'll find. I'll find out for myself. Good. What's this? Ideas for you. Oh. Yeah, I was thinking about your interactive stand-up thing, and I thought, we must be able to do better than that. And then suddenly, in the middle of the night, pow, they just started coming at me, like flies. The history of metal detecting? Yes, fascinating story. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Like this one. From analysts to panelists. Yeah, a quiz show about therapy. Could be hilarious. Or how about keep on trucking? A bunch of lorry drivers drive round and round a circuit until they run out of petrol. But wouldn't it be diesel? Good point, better make a note of that. Yeah, the thing is, Michael, we don't need any more ideas. I've actually sort of come up with a perfect show for me. That's right. Oh, I see. Yeah. May I ask what it is? I can't tell you yet. I've still got one or two details to iron out. I know. Oh, could we have two coffees, anyway? So... So you don't want these, then? Uh, not particularly. So... Maybe I'll just leave them. Oh, I wouldn't bother, to be honest. OK. Like the shirt, though. Thank you. Um, are you going to sit there for long with just the coffees? Only to be fair, you are taking up a table that others might want. This ago. <laughs> but it's good. Nothing. What? It's Siobhan Ryder. She's a good producer. She's bloody brilliant. All her shows are hits, and I've got her mobile phone number. Nice work. If only you knew who Mel was putting up for it. Exactly, then I could put her off him. Too bad I didn't ask Izzy out for a drink last night and find out his name. Well, that is why I said can... you did. Maybe. Oh, come on, Marty, you know who it is. Yes, I do. Brilliant. But maybe I don't want to tell you, because I don't think you should use that information to sabotage the guy's chances. Oh, for God's sake. Lucky for you, the guy's an asshole, so I don't care if you do screw him over. It's Rob McKinnon. Oh, I'm about a guest. Your old pal. Rob smug bastard McKinnon. Not that you're one to hold a grudge for, what is it, five years? It was his job to introduce me at the Empire. All he had to do was remember my name. All you had to do was remember your act. So I lost my way a bit. Hardly surprising with an introduction like that. Very unprofessional. Putting me off my stride. Come on, let's go. Where are we going? We've got work to do. I don't want to get involved. I'm not asking you to get involved. I'm handling it. All you need to do is stay here and look after the bike. Have you got any change? I mean, you're pathetic. 
It doesn't matter who I am. Think of me as a friend. I'm not naming names. All you need to know is your new team captain might have a few hidden secrets. Good. That should do it. So what'd you tell her? Enough. Come on, what'd you tell her? Let's just say I don't think you'll be getting the job or working with animals for quite some time. <laughs> Even for you, that's low. Yeah, yeah, fine. Right, so, what are you up to? Uh, heating up the samosas. Yeah, thought might as well. I thought the festival thing wasn't until next weekend. Yeah, it turns out it's a bit of a problem. Yeah, it's all gone a bit stupid. Yeah, they were saying that we need some kind of licence. Yeah, health and safety. Yeah, we need to fill out a form. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kept banging on about food poisoning. You've been pretty careful. I know. Most of that mince was defrosted before you cooked it. Exactly. Oh. Anyway, we're just going to give them away. Yeah, we're thinking, like, maybe to the homeless and that. Oh, that's a nice idea. I'm sure they'll really enjoy them. Yeah, yeah. Do you want one? Uh, no, thanks. Um, so, yeah, Dad, about the, uh, money, I mean, I suppose we could charge them and then... Think of it as a donation. Uh... Cool. Great, thanks. So, I go now. Oh, right, bye. Okay. Agatha has done paper for you. Oh, she's done them. That's great, thanks. Oh, good. Hmm. Ah, yeah. oh, yes, yeah. I am. Um, what was 20. it? Oh, what's 20? Oh. Thank you. I will give. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, do you want some samosas? No, thank you. Perhaps Izzy would like. Oh, and um, Agatha have run out of white bottle. Uh, a correction fluid? Yes, yeah. so she has finished dressed with pen. I hope it's okay. Bye. What? Oh, bloody hell. Is Sam gone? Yep. She's off with Ben, handing out samosas to the homeless. Oh, that's sweet. Bit unfair, though, targeting people who don't own a toilet. <laughs> Actually, that's... That is fine. Help yourself. Do you want some? No, thanks. I prefer my teeth with enamel on. Hmm. Is everything OK? Uh, just had a bit of a crap day. Hmm. Really, so... What's happened? It doesn't matter. I had something really good lined up, and now it looks like it's not going to happen anymore. Oh. Sorry to hear that. I just don't know what went wrong. I was that close to doing the deal, and the producer suddenly got cold feet. Why? She didn't say. Just said it was all a bit embarrassing, and now they're looking for someone else. Oh. You sure you don't want some? Actually, yeah. I mean, you know, seems we've run out of Tipex. <laughs> Look, that's what she did. They're completely useless now. Aww. She did it with a biro. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> I was just wondering, do you think she used a bit? It's actually a good gag. <laughs> Maybe I should sack Marty. Oh. I'm sorry about your show. It's a shame Thingy didn't get the job. What do you mean, Thingy? Rob McKinnon. I know because Izzy told Marty and Marty told me. Yes, because I told her to tell him that. But it wasn't him. Anyway, it doesn't matter now. Yes, it does. Who was it, then? I'm not telling you. I want to know. <laughs> no, you don't. Come on. Who did you put up for the job? All right. It was you. Me? But you're, you're not my agent. I know. None of my clients were right for it, and I thought you would be absolutely perfect. And so did Siobhan, until suddenly today she just changes her mind. Why didn't you tell me? I wanted it to be a nice surprise. 
And I thought if you knew about it, somehow you'd manage to screw it up. Where are you going? I feel sick. Sorry to bother you. Have you got a moment? <sighs> Not really. Yesterday evening, your daughter and her um, companion were going door to door. They tried to sell my mother some Indian food. So why on earth did you tell oh, me that you go weren't? Go away. 